you guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel I am here with another product review video and it's so funny every time I start to gather products and set myself up for these videos I think oh gosh I don't know that I have all that many to review this time and then I end up with this mess right here I need to do something about this I will be doing a video where I organize this mess in the somewhat near future I'm going to put shelves in a couple of you suggested that I do that thank you so much so the first product I have been dying to talk about and learn about and try is this Midnight in Corsica facial oil. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it's called. Midnight in Corsica face oil number three. This is the one that's really, really stinky, but despite being stinky, everyone says it's super awesome. But when I unboxed it in my FabFitFun video, I took a whiff and I remember I said, oh, it's actually not all that bad. And it's not all that bad when you smell it just like this. <laughs> but to put it on your face and have it all over over your face it is really overwhelming you know I will deal with it if especially if it's as amazing as people say it does spread really nicely it does feel like it sinks in really well I will do my best to use it without my husband eventually boycotting that I use it because it is really really smelly I mentioned before that somebody described the smell as burnt tires and I tried to kind of place what I thought it smelled like and I think that's a pretty accurate description you know, I smelled burnt burning rubber from people peeling out or things like that and then I started to realize yeah it kind of smells like an old shoe or but the rubbery part of the it, yeah and so I, I ended up long story short I ended up deducing that burnt tires is a pretty accurate way to describe it I was really excited to learn about this because one what is that smell and two why is it so freaking expensive so we're gonna start with a smell so this oil is made up of 10 different oils, some of which we've heard of, some of which are much more obscure. And I'm going to talk about two of the oils. One is responsible for the smell and the color and the other is responsible for the price tag. Now the first oil is the German chamomile oil. Now listen to this. This oil's extraordinary blue color comes from the presence of camazuline, a compound known for its ability to combat skin irritants. In addition to its benefit as a skincare tool, it is also used Used by aromatherapists to challenge feelings of anger and rage while promoting thoughts and feelings of peace and patience. Indeed, just looking at its exquisite blue color is known to create calm in the observer. This amazing oil is a healer of mind, body, and spirit. Now, I don't know about you, but burnt tires don't exactly promote thoughts and feelings of peace and patience. So I, I find this to be hilarious. <laughs> but I'm still super open-minded to this oil. I just think that's really really funny because it smells really awful Okay, so that's the that's the ingredient that's responsible for the color and the smell and their inaccurate description about what it elicits Emotionally in its users and then the second oil that is responsible for the price tag is called Corsican Immortel oil and Corsica is an island off of uh, France and Immort or Immortel is French, I believe, for eternal. The healing powers of this dazzlingly valuable oil are matched only by its rarity and the expense by which it is acquired. Carefully harvested from the rocky high altitude cliffs of the Corsican countryside and requiring one ton of flowers to extract one liter of oil. One ton of flowers to extract one liter of oil. Immortel works wonders on everything from soft tissue injury and post-surgery healing to the more everyday concerns of erasing fine lines and acne scars. This incredible certified organic rapid of oil is so hard to come by, you are unlikely to find it as an ingredient in any other products. This is why we have entrusted it to the most valuable thing we can imagine, your face. So that is the oil and ingredient that's responsible for the price tag. Like I said, it has eight other oils that all have really valuable jobs that they do for our face. This claims to be an antioxidant, an antiseptic, and fungal. It claims to help with fine lines and wrinkles. It claims to do pretty much everything. So I, like I said, I will keep using it and I will give you updates unless my husband boycotts it. If my husband boycotts it, I'll let you know that too. But I got this for $29 on the FabFitFun sale and it retails for $150. Now, speaking of stinky skincare, I had also purchased this, the Terra Mare Niacinamide and Algae Revitalizing Night Cream. 
This is really stinky too. It's not nearly as stinky. Ooh. What would I describe this as? The best thing that I can think of is that it smells woody, like wood, but like a sandalwood kind of. And then there's an undertone of like perhaps beginning to rot sandalwood because I love sandalwood. My comb is sandalwood. And this smells like sandalwood is supposed to. It's just a very faint scent. But th that, this is the best thing I can think of to describe this. Moving on from the smell, this I purchased for $29 as well. It retails for $108. So these two things together make for a very expensive, very smelly nighttime skincare routine, but I have done it a couple times and it does feel really excellent. Beyond the smell, beyond the price tag, this is extremely rich. That cream, it, it, it feels so nourishing. It's like a butter. It's like, you know, body butter. It's like a face butter. And then the ingredients. So niacinamide is vitamin B3. It is good for all skin types. Everyone can use niacinamide in their routine. This was the first time I had seen algae in skincare and of course I looked it up and it's really good for dry skin and sensitive skin and also I read in a couple places that it helps combat redness and rosacea. This is a really excellent night care cream. Also stinky. If you have trouble with the stinky skincare then you might want to steer clear. The next thing I want to talk about is I have this Snow Fox Cucumber Recovery Serum. I got this in the Spring Edit Sale and I had been working on my Grown Alchemist uh, serum at the time and I finished that up and I actually threw that away but the update on that is that I didn't think it was quite worth the price. I should have taken it before and after. It was nice to use but it was $24 and it was okay. I don't, it was a brightening serum. It had licorice in it which is for brightening and I don't don't feel like I noticed a difference. It's hard to really pinpoint something if it makes a subtle difference though because I am incorporating so many things into my skincare routine and really like I upped my game like crazy suddenly. Thank you FabFitFun. Okay so now the Snow Fox Recovery Serum. This is a really gentle serum. It feels very soothing when you put it on. The Snow Fox line was created by a woman who has extremely sensitive skin and suffers from rosacea. So actually algae and this one, Cucumber Recovery Serum, if you have those issues, sensitivity and rosacea, redness, these would be really good products for you. Anyway, so I just started using it. It's lovely so far. I really, really like, this is impromptu. I really love the hand skin skin essence. I've used about that much. And this was in the, I think, winter edit sale, something like that. It was a few sales back. And I love patting this onto my skin first and then before this dries, putting on my serum and then just kind of letting them work together and soak in and then fit finishing my skincare routine. I really enjoy using this in conjunction with a serum. So these look, work really nicely together. This worked really nicely with the Grown Alchemist serum as well. I will give you an update on how this seems to work for me. Next thing I want to talk about is this Marula Deep Moisture Hair Mask. I just started using this. I bought this in the fall edit sale, so a while ago, but I kind of went hair mask happy in that sale, so I'm just now getting to this. I have a first impression for this one as well, and this is, it wasn't very noticeable. I i remember reading in the forum after I purchased it that it wasn't that great of a hair mask, and I didn't really feel like it did much for me after I used it once. Again, I will update you, and again, I like giving first impressions, and then what I think of something after I've used it a few times, and then I like giving final thoughts once there's an empty. This this is the same brand though that makes this facial oil which I absolutely love. This is the Marula facial oil. I've talked about this a handful of times. I really love this facial oil. This is the same brand and we'll see. I'm hoping to like this a lot but the first impression was kind of eh, it fell flat. Okay the next thing I want to talk about is this Living Proof Timeless Shampoo and Conditioner. I found these at TJ Maxx. So each one was $14.99 and then the compare at price was $28. So these were $28 each and I got them each for $15. So that's $30. That's still really, really expensive. I love most Living Proof 
products that I've tried. They're a really great line. Big bummer though, if you're new to my channel, I'm working really hard to be cruelty free, stay cruelty free, but it's really tough to keep up when companies like Living Proof that were cruelty free go and sell themselves to Unilever, which isn't cruelty free. So Unilever owns so many things. So that's a big bummer. I purchased this before I learned that. I don't know if they had sold to Unilever at that point. Um, they were definitely in negotiations when I bought it. If you're not doing the cruelty free thing, I see these that TJ, TJ Maxx and Marshalls and those places still, they must be doing away with this particular line. More Living Proof. This is the Nourishing Styling Cream that was in my summer box. It was one of the choices in the summer box and I really like this. It's a nice lightweight styling cream. I strive for not feeling like there's any product in my hair once I have put stuff on and it curls up and this is a product that definitely, it doesn't feel like it's in my hair. It's not sticky. It's not heavy. My hair moves. That's a big thing. With curly hair, a lot of products just kind of hold your hair really still and you can't like move it around and it's really annoying. So my hair moves when I use this too, so that's awesome. This I got in a Peta Ver box and this is Little Barn Apothecary Honeysuckle and Grapefruit Body Oil. And Peta Ver is a cruelty-free subscription box. I do my unboxings on my channel as well and this is really awesome. I love this body oil. It mostly smells like honeysuckle even though it's honeysuckle and grapefruit, I mostly smell honeysuckle in here. Ugh, and it's just such an amazing smell. I actually like to, after I do my stinky skincare routine of these two things, I like to put some of this on my hands because this smells so excellent and then I just put my hands near my face as I'm falling asleep. Because <laughs> it helps. It really does help. <sighs> things we do for beauty. Okay, I am going to talk about feet and this is the exfoliating foot mask from Wish. This came in the summer box. I believe everybody got this one. I know I do know everybody got this one. This was not a choice. This was this came in everyone's box. I was a little worried about this one because it says it's cool coconut milk and verbena. I'm not a fan of verbena, but I don't smell verbena in this at all. I smell just coconut. And it's a really runny gel-like consistency. I tried it a couple nights and I, I don't know about this. So this is a first impression review. I think that my feet felt kind of nice. I much prefer my Hey Honey Walk the Walk. I've talked about this a couple of times now. This is the Propolis and he Foot and Heel Cream. I love this. I bought two more in the last sale and I this is great. My husband loves it too. I'm going to give this another shot. I, I'll finish it up, I suppose. It's supposed to be an exfoliating foot mask and the exfoliating ingredient is it's supposed to be papaya enzyme. And then it's got some fruit e extracts to polish and brighten. Fruit, fruit extracts usually do brightening and, and evening out skin tone and I yeah I'll update you if my opinions change about this I gotta tell you I have a lot of hang-ups though and I think my feet are actually pretty decent looking to begin with so perhaps if somebody was in greater need of something like this it would be more effective what's awesome about this is it's paraben free sulfate free phthalate free DEA and TEA free petrochemical free cruelty free and leaping bunny certified it's actually it's not only cruelty free it's Sleeping Bunny certified, which that's a big deal. Okay, so I really wanted to look up the DEA and TEA free line on here, and those are carcinogenic compounds often associated with liver tumors, and they are banned in Europe. Okay, I'm liking this more. I'm liking this company more. Wish. I've only tried one other thing by them, and that's their lip scrub, and I've reviewed that one before, and I do like that lip scrub. I like it a lot. I didn't know all these wonderful things about this company before this video, so. Great job, Wish. I just learned a lot. On camera, I wanted to talk about the blue light blocking glasses. I think that these are really effective. I get headaches. I just realized that I am one who gets headaches. It's very frustrating. It's kind of increased in frequency as I've gotten older. I got a really bad one yesterday and it was really, really difficult to concentrate at work and I had to come home and I just laid down and I put on an eye mask and I just closed my eyes and I kind of slept, kind of didn't, but I just needed to shut everything off. I, I wanted to get so much done too. Anyway, so I am finding that these are probably pretty necessary. Now, I got these in the spring edit sale and then I 
I got these in the summer add-ons. These are awesome. They are a little bit clunky and I do notice that I start to feel uncomfortable in them after about an hour. And then these, these tortoise shell ones, are much lighter. I barely feel them on my face. So if you're looking for the blue light blockers in a future FabFitFun sale, I would try for the tortoise shell ones because they're just, they just feel lighter. I think they're both super cute, but these are just more comfortable to actually wear. But I notice when I wear them, when I am watching YouTube videos at night, I don't get as sucked into and hypnotized by my computer. I actually start to feel sleepy and want to sign off. When I don't wear them though, I can stay up and up and up and I it's it's really it's amazing. So these are actually I can feel a difference when I use these. And you know what? I've talked about a few products now. I'm going to end there. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and I will see you later. Bye.